Now I've been extremely lucky to be gifted three vintage laptops. You can see the third one just down here. Now this isn't an ideal way to store your laptops. I'm just doing that so I can show you that they're all here. So the first one that I've got is a Compaq Armada 1550T. I've already tried this one out because I knew I had a plug for it and I'll show you why. On the back there, you can probably see it has one of these butterfly connectors. Um, and I've got one of those just here. So we can plug it in and take a look. Um, there's a little bit of sort of damage here. This is uh, this little thing's coming off, but whatever, it still opens up fine. And I really like the look of this keyboard. I mean, it's filthy. <laughs> but uh, it is a Pentium machine. That's all it says on the sticker. I don't know much else about it. So a little look at the back, see if it says anything. Uh, no, it doesn't say anything apart from the input, which you may be able to read. Oh, let's see if we can come any closer. Will it focus on that? Yeah, there we go. 100 to 240 volts. So it has its own built-in PSU. So let's plug it in and see what happens. I kind of already know that it doesn't work because I've tried it. Um, here we go. It's going to fool me now though. Make a fool of me. Hopefully not. Um, so weirdly, this one has uh, two buttons or things with a power symbol on it. One that slides and one that's a purple thing. So I've tried all different combinations. Just pressing this one doesn't power up. We don't get any lights on here. There's no activity, it seems. I can't hear anything. If I slide this and press the button, nothing. If I let one go, nothing, nothing again. So let's try that again. Slide, press. Release, unslide, nothing at all. So this one is dead, but because it has its own internal PSU, it means we can take that out and see if we can fix it. It might be something as simple as a dead cap or something. Um, so we'll see. If anyone's got any ideas, I'd love to know. This isn't going to be some kind of let's repair a computer thing today. This is uh, just a little bit of show and tell. I think I've got automatic white balance on, so it's making things look a bit strange, so I apologize. Anyway, I like the look of this laptop and I'd love to get it up and running. It's got a nice looking screen, it's a TFT. My other laptop, which is the Toshiba 200 CDS, which is a bit of a vintage one, that has an STN display, which means you get a lot of ghosting and it's a bit rubbish. So it brings me to the reason why I like old laptops and that's because I grew up on DOS gaming. So quite kind of excites me. Um, and so I wanted one that had a TFT display rather than an STN um, because it means that you can play faster paced games. Now this is the, the next one. This is a bit more modern, this one. So this is an Advent 6418, um, which is, like a early 2000s kind of one, I think. Um, this doesn't say 3105, which I thought it did for quite some time. It says BIOS. So press the delete key to enter BIOS. It's got one of these features that I hate about um, like any kind of laptop or machines from the early 2000s um, is it's got a dedicated email button. Ugh. So you press that to open up your emails, I assume. You used to get this loads on old machines, laptops and stuff. It used to be, you'd have one for the internet. <laughs> you'd press it and it would load up a web browser or one for Windows Media Player or something like that. Anyway, this one, they've all got these square screens, which I really like. Oops, and big TFT displays. And I kind of like that this one's blue. I think it's, <laughs> it's really interesting. Let's have a look at the bottom. This one is very heavy. This is, it's a Windows XP machine. It runs Windows XP Home. Um, we can see down here, actually, it's uh, coming a little bit. You can see that we've got a 14.1 inch TFT. It's, uh, that's gonna be an Intel Celeron 1000. So that's a one gigahertz machine, 256 megabytes of RAM, 20 gig hard drive, and a DVD player. And yeah, it says it's running Windows XP there uh, with lithium ion. 
which, whoa, that's a long old battery. That is the battery that came with it. Um, no doubt holding a brilliant amount of charge. Uh, so 14.8 volts, 3,600 milliamp hours. I wonder if that's easy to take apart. Maybe we could replace it. It definitely won't be holding anywhere near of a, an appropriate charge. Slides in very nicely though. Got a big old uh, place for a fan there and some massive feet. <laughs> Those feet stick up almost as much as my actual laptop. Um, so we can try and power this one on. Let's see if we've got a cable for it. So we've got, uh, in this it's got DVD-ROM. What we got on the back panel? Oh, we've got a USB plug there as well. That's good to see. Well, not good to see really. I didn't really expect any of these to have them. I thought they might have been a bit too early, but I suppose if this one's running XP, you did get Windows 95 with USB devices, didn't you? Sort of plug and play stuff. So Windows XP definitely had it. After Windows 95, you had ME and things like that. So they all would have had USB. Um, okay, we can see if we've got a plug for that. Bear with me. Yeah, it looks like I've got something here for an old Toshiba laptop. This one says 19 volts. I think this is an 18 volt machine. Uh, 3.42 amps, that will do. Let's plug this in and have a butcher's, shall we? Oops. Right, well, I don't see a charging light. Is it plugged in? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh. It is booting up. Oh, we've got something on the screen. Let me um, readjust. Yeah, it looks like the, the CMOS battery is low or off, maybe. So run setup or load default values. Let's load the default values. F1 to resume. So it did say it had a, uh, a one gigahertz processor. I think it actually said 1.1. I remember having a Windows XP machine actually. Um, God, what did I used to play on it? Was it like Nine, Battlefield 1942 or something like that. Many years ago now, probably around 2005. No, 2002, 2003, I guess. That's some time back. It's loading up fairly slowly. Don't really see anything yet. One thing about these laptops, they do have tiny, tiny track pads, don't they? Oh, we've got a cursor on this display there. My desk here is a bit of a mess, so you'll have to forgive me. I've got like all kinds of weird screen issues on here. The time or date in your system is invalid. Please check the date time applet in the control panel. Okay, well, let's get there first. We need that lift music, I think. Shall I just cut to when it's in? Right, there we are, we're in. Um, let's see what the date is on here, shall we? <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in on that so you can see it. S July the 7th, 1643. Nice. So it probably does need a, uh, a new CMOS battery, it looks like, so we'll, I'll have a look in that later on. Uh, I don't know whose machine this was. Uh, we've got Monopoly on here. We'll have a look at that in a sec. Oh Lord. <laughs> okay. Overclicking it's not gonna make it come up any faster, is it? Q50 windows, <laughs> probably. So this isn't really the machine I'm most excited about, so we won't worry about it too much. Uh, BBs. 
Ooh, M Davies, 2010. So the last time this one was used was about eight years ago, it looks like. Got some pictures on here. If this is anything weird, I'll, um, I'll blur it out. No, it looks like it's just a nice picture of somewhere. And then what's this one? Oh, it's some people. So they look like they're really old. So I don't think it really matters, but I shall blur it anyhow. Um, yeah, it looks like we've got lots of documents. Three little ducks, survivors tribute. I'm not going to open them. Interesting. Okay. Let's have a look at Monopoly. Okay, so it's a it's a DOS program. Let's load that up. Can't really tell if it's in focus. So it's in focus as it's gonna get. Who are the players? David. Oh, uh, it's at least to be two players. David and me. <laughs> um, that doesn't look right, does it? Okay, let's quit that. <laughs> okay. And do you know what? I'm just going to shut this down. Now this next one is one I'm kind of excited about. I've got my hand here because it refuses to focus on that black there. So if I put my hand, it works. Anyway, it's an IBM ThinkPad. It is, oh, oh I've forgotten to unclip that. It is a 380ED. There we go, 380ED. Um, it's one of those laptops with a little rubber nipple. <laughs> And I think they're really cool. Um, so this is fairly old. I think it came out in 1997. So that would make it, what, 21 years old, I guess. Is that right? No. Yeah. Yeah, 20, 21 years old, something like that. Um, big old chunky mouse keys there and the nipple. Lots of stuff going on up here in terms of um, lights. And it also has one of these sort of brightness sliders on the side of the monitor, which is interesting. Now, if we, this isn't a repair video or anything like that. We're just going to be looking at the thing. So we've got a CD-ROM drive and a floppy drive. We've got a volume thing. I guess that is that for the whole system, maybe. Microphone and headphone. On the back, we've got what's well, a monitor port, um, a printer port or a parallel port maybe. Um, that's a serial port. That's our um, power jack. There's a PS2 mouse port. And over here we've got some of those PCM, PCM CIA slots. I think that's right. And a little Kensington lock there. Let's have a little look at the back, shall we? We can probably zoom in on what that says there. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. So, IBM type 635, 16 volts, 2.2 amps. That's what I need to shove in its port. So uh, let me just have a look and see if I've got one. I have another, are you gonna focus there? That's probably in focus. I have another Toshiba laptop power supply here and that is 15 volts, four amps. Not sure it's gonna work. We'll plug it in and see if it does. If not, we're gonna break out my Tenma desktop or bench power supply and we'll, we'll power it that way. So, 15 volts. Oh, it's a tight fit. It is center pole positive, I did check. And power in. Let's have a look, shall we? No. 
I can hear some kind of a noise, but it doesn't want to power up. Let's get the bench top power supply in here and do it that way. So we're going to need, oh. I mean, maybe it's the wrong kind of plug in the end of the world, at the end, at the end of the world. What am I saying? How am I going to do this? Hold on. I'll be back. Once upon a time, I had bench sort of uh, supply stuff that had these leads with DC jacks on the end. For the life of me, I cannot find it. However, I have found one of these, which are the um, sort of nine volt battery things to one of these plugs, which doesn't fit in, but I have an adapter, so I can shove that in there and then that fits in. So I'm just gonna clip on some of these leads. <laughs> this might be a terrible idea. And then, um, then power it up, I guess. All right, let's turn on my bench power supply. So I'm going to want 16 volts. We are drawing 24 milliamps at the moment. Okay. Let's see. Uh, don't know if you can hear that noise. I'm going to bring the microphone closer. I think it might be. Sorry, I know you can't hear that. I think it might be attempting to charge the battery. <laughs> Not sure that's going to work, but we have got a little orange light on there. So let's. Have we got any discs or anything in here? No. Oh, I'll bring this uh, error 161163. I'm going to guess that's probably the CMOS battery. Oh my word, look at this little bird thing. That's the mouse cursor. <laughs> 1998. I'm just going to click on OK. What have we got? Non-system disk or disk error. Wow, the hard drive might be dead on this one. We'll leave this one for another day. Maybe I have to take that hard drive out. I'll at least see if I can find a boot disk um, that I've used on sort of Windows PCs in the past on uh, old laptops. The Toshiba 200 CDS I used on that before. Let's just turn that off. Oh, so this I'm excited about because it looks like a proper retro machine. I love it. Um, it is a 166 megahertz machine, I think. So it might be a little bit fast. It's got Pentium, <laughs> these things. I remember when this came out, I think. Oh, sorry, I just hit the camera there. The uh, Pentium MMX, can you see that? <laughs> Let's uh, brighten it up a little bit. The MMX technology, Intel inside. Anyway, that has been a little look at um, the laptops that I've been gifted. If anyone's got any clues on um, maybe a little bit about this, who knows, but more interested in that compact Armada machine. If anyone knows how to replace or... No, I don't want to replace the power supply. I'd rather just... I would bin it if the power supply was gone, but if it's repairing the power supply, then I can definitely do that. All right, I'll speak to you all soon.